So on these, uh, it's important to remember some of the exponent rules, particularly the negative exponents. Negative exponents just indicate that we're going to be reciprocating all these. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write all, of, all three of these terms as fractions and then reciprocate them. All right. So this is what I have. Oh, that's a, a to the power of negative 3 in the top left there, by the way. So the negative just tells us we're going to reciprocate each of these. So starting with this a to the power of negative 3, I would then have 1 over a to the power of 3. And this is plus. I'm going to reciprocate this b to the power of negative 1, so that it's 1 over b. I could put to the power of 1, but I don't really need to do that. And then finally, this a to the power of negative 2 uh, over 1, which I reciprocate to get 1 over a to the power of 2. So reciprocation will make those exponents positive now, which is good. All right, from here, I'm going to write this as a regular division problem, reciprocate. But right now, in the green parentheses, I need common denominators. So with that 1 over a cubed, I have an a cubed as a denominator. And then in the purple, I have 1 over b. So I just need a common denominator of b times a cubed. So in other words, I'm going to multiply this a cubed by b and 1 times b, which would give me b over b times a cubed. <clears throat> then we'll add this to, so the b we're going to multiply by a cubed and 1 times the a cubed as well, which would give us a cubed over b a cubed. So now that I have common denominators, uh, what I can do is write this as one full fraction with a common denominator of b a cubed. So take that back b a cubed, and then in the numerator, I've got the b, and then I'll add that to a cubed. Actually, at this point, let me go back here. I'm going to reciprocate this right now and turn this into multiplication so that now I've got a squared over 1. So let's go ahead and write this out, but I'm going to multiply my numerators and denominators like this, okay? So I've got a squared times b plus a cubed all over, I'm going to rearrange the letters just so they line up with each other, a cubed times b. Is that okay if I switch those, the b and the a cubed? So... <clears throat> In the numerator right here, I've got these two a cubes, which will cancel out two of these three, which is just going to leave me with, in my numerator now, I've got b plus a cubed. And then in the denominator, I'll have one a left over and one b left over. And uh, that's going to do it right there. So the reason why we wouldn't cancel out the b's, are you talking about in the red yeah. there? Is because what we really have is common denominators with two different fractions. So this would be b over ab plus a cubed over ab like this. So we could cancel out the b's right there. And technically, we, we could cancel out one of these a's as well. But it kind of breaks the problem up so it's not as simplified. Um, some people, I guess, may consider that more simplified, but I think what the homework wants is what's boxed there in red.